This under this part two of the video, we'll be talking about the difference between the position time graph and the distance time graph. Now, of course, we have our normal graph. This is our normal graph. Of course, this is S one over T, and then this is a distance time graph, and that should be D all over T. So D all over T. Now remember that the slope. We already said that in the previous video that the slope. Of course, the slope of a uh, position time graph should give you the velocity. Now, remember, uh, slope involves this um, division. So we have changing s all over uh, changing t, which is displacement all over time. So um, while that of the speed, remember from this. Uh, the slope is distance all over time. Please note this thing here, please. This is x, not um, distance, please. This first one is displacement all over time. Why this is distance all over time? So x is displacement all over time. Why this is distance all over time? And then distance all over time is equals to speed. Speed is distance all over time and remember the 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 slope of a distance time graph will give you speed the slope of a distance time graph will give you speed the slope of a position time graph will give you velocity note this also that position time graph note this that of course you already know that uh, the speed is a scalar quantity the speed is a scalar quantity. And of course, you know that displacement all over time, you know that displacement all over time should give you velocity. Velocity is displacement. Velocity is displacement all over time. Speed is distance all over time. So, velocity is a vector quantity, while speed is a scalar quantity. So that is all the difference between it. Please note it very well.